beating up and down. You don't want to be like that. That's called being double-minded. Okay. For let's it's like a for he that wave is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything but the Lord Yahweh share. A double ma a double-minded man is unstable with all his ways. So guess what? If you're double-minded, that means you're gonna be unstable. Especially when it comes to the truth. So for you for one to be double-minded, what does that mean? They mean they're lukewarm. So you could be lukewarm, not just in your works, in your mind, in your thought pattern. You're lukewarm. That means you're double-minded, you're not sure. You see? You see, you've got to be spiritual about this truth. The longer you're in this truth, the more you're in this day in, day out, the more you see things with a broad picture of how things really are. Okay? Because you could be lukewarm in your mind. Okay? Well, you, you can't even make a, 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 a right judgment. Because you're not in the word efficiently, how you should be. A double man, a double-minded man is unstable in all, not some, all his ways. Okay? All his ways. Okay? So how, if a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, how is he going to be able to judge things? How is he going to be able to judge himself? That's why the scripture examine thyself, whether that be in the faith. Okay? There's many things are happening in these, in these times we're in. Many things are happening. Basically, um, the latest news, lockdown easing could create third wave this summer, scientists warn. What a load of rubbish, see? More lies from east, so lockdown easing could create third wave. What a rubbish. What a load of rubbish. It's Ease that's in control of these, what, so-called diseases. It's him that's controlling these. Already, it's Yahweh Shai that controls man. That's all rubbish. That's all fear tactics. You know? So more people are going to be in fear. Okay, no, don't, don't worry about all that. Okay, because really, it's Yahweh Shai that kills, that make it for life, that destroys. Okay, so we've got Esau pushing his fair tactics. Okay, in other words, he wants you to stay at home. Okay, be obedient to his orders. It's just fair tactics, that's who it is. Okay, again, never trust thy enemy, never. Let's go to Psalm 55. And there in just a minute. Psalms 55. Is it 15? Go to Psalms 55. In just a minute. As the scripture says, never trust that enemy. Here it is. This is Psalm 55. Okay, Psalm 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. Okay. So, this, this is what he's coming. He's coming with sweet words. Ah, protect yourselves. Put a mask on your face. Do this, do that. These are all sweet words. Okay. But Emily, what's he thinking of? 
how to overthrow you. So you can't believe in nothing this man says. Nothing. Okay? It's all lies. It's all deceit. Okay? His words of his mouth are smoother than butter. And you know how smooth, you know how smooth butter is? Okay? Butter's extremely smooth. Especially when it's melting. Okay? His words were softer than oil. Okay? So when it says his words were softer than oil, that's him speaking smooth words. Okay? Words of no effect. Okay? Giving you the illusion that he's for you when he's not for you. That's him smooth words. Okay? That is them smooth words. Okay? Lies. Deception. Okay? Lies and deception. That's Esau's smooth words. That's what he's showing you. Okay? This man, when he does something, there's an agenda behind it and it ain't a good agenda, it's a bad agenda. Okay? That's what you got to realise. When Esau does something, there's no good that comes out of it. It's bad, it's not for your betterment. Yet were they drawn swords, see? Yet were they drawn swords, so Esau would do things, but there's a wicked intent behind what he's doing. Okay? That's where you that's where you've got to be spiritual. Okay? That's where you have to be spiritual about this truth. Okay? and 10 I believe therefore have I spoken and I was greatly afflicted so the elect believe so they're gonna speak oh it's simple as that okay the elect the hopeful elect they're gonna believe and they're gonna speak they're gonna speak these words they're gonna speak these words of life because they believe so belief is an action word so with your faith, you're going to show your works, you're going to show your action. You're going to show how much you um, appreciate this truth. Okay? I said in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? So, render means to pay back. So, how can we pay Yahawashai back? How can we give? by doing this work. That's how we pay him back. Okay? That's how we recompense you, how we shy. Okay? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. So that's what we're supposed to be doing, day and night. Not taking breaks here and there. Okay? Giving our orders, but you're not following them same orders. That's a respect your person. Okay. Bear me just a minute. I will pay my vows unto the Lord. Now in the presence of all his people. So once you come to the truth, you've got to pay your vows. What's that vow? A commitment, a promise. You made a vow, whether you know it or not. The moment you came into this truth, that was a vow. Okay, so now, now, guess what? You have to keep that vow between you and Yahweh Shai. If you break that vow, that's your life. Okay. You have to keep that vow between you and Yahweh Shai. Okay. Don't break it. Once you come into the truth, you have to stick this thing out. So what? Part of us doing this truth is paying our vows. A vow is a commitment. A vow is a promise. Okay? And when you came to the truth, whether you know, whether you know it or not, you kept a promise. Okay, whether you know it or not. <laughs> okay, you got, to, you got to fulfill your end of the bargain. Now, okay? It 
precious in the sight of the Lord, Yahushua, is the death of his saints. So it says precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Why are you going to be worried about death for every second? No, we won't. We speak life. We're concerned with life. This truth that brings life. We're not concerned with death. Okay. The, the, one, the ones that ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing, they, they should be the ones who are concerned with death. Okay. Yahushai, what is he, what is life to us? Not death. How could you be in Yahushai while you're always speaking of death, death, death? That's because you've got the spirit of death upon you. That's why. Because you have the spirit of doubt. The spirit of doubt. The spirit of doubt. The, the spirit of uncertainty. What's that? The spirit of death. No, speak life. Remember what the script says from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Okay? So this is what we're focused on. Life. Okay, this truth it gives you life. Okay, Matthews again, fear him that can kill what both body and so in hell. Just quickly go into that. You gotta know, you gotta know who to fear. Okay, know who to fear. Okay. Bear me just a minute. There was some here in Matthew's like a shot. See if I can find it. Okay, Matthew's 10 and 27. What I tell you in darkness, okay, in secret, okay? What I tell you in darkness, okay? Let's speak ye in the light. So what we're told in the darkness, in secret, we speak out into the light. We proclaim this word, okay? And what you hear in the air, he preach in the housetop. So what we're hearing, what we're given in our ears, that's what we're preaching unto the housetop. Okay, this is what we've been commanded to teach. This word, this gospel. All right? And fear not. And fear not them which kill the body. But are not able to kill the soul. So again, Yahushua is letting us know. Don't fear them which can harm your body. Those can, that can grab you up. Martial law troops. Esau. No. Okay. So that's the wrong type of fear. See, there's two fears. There's the fear of, there's the fear of this world. Uncertainty. Okay. Which is really, that's a weak spirit. And there's a fear of who? Yahushua. And that's the fear you want. You want the fear of Yahweh Shai. That's the fear you want. Okay. But are not able to kill, and fear not them which, are, which kill the body. But are not able to kill the soul. So the scripts are letting us know. Okay. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. That's who we fear. Okay? That's who we fear. Yahweh Shai. And with you doing that, guess what? Your path is going to be directed in the right way. That's where that protection comes. That's where that protection comes. That's how your faith gets increased. Because you're now fearing Yahweh Shai. Okay? And guess what? Another thing, if you fear Yahweh Shai, you're going to do the work. Okay? Because that fear has what motivated you, that fear spurs you on to do the right thing. Okay? Verse 29, are, are you not, are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? Okay? 
and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. Okay. Wait just a minute. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So even the hairs of our head, Yahweh shall knows every single one. Okay. Every single hair on your head is already numbered. Okay. Every single one. Every single hair on your head has already been numbered. Every single one. He knows. Okay. Fare ye not, therefore, ye are more value than more sparrows, which is a bird. And even the birds are looked after. Okay. And it says, ye are more value than what? The sparrows. So, how much you that are doing the work of Yahweh Shai? Okay. That's again, that's where that faith comes in. Have faith in Yahweh Shai. Have faith in his words. Okay. You've got to have faith in his words, man. Because if you don't, then what's going to happen? You're just going to fall by the wayside. Okay. Because the times were coming, perilous, perilous, perilous times. More danger, more catastrophe. Okay. All these things. Verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. So this, is, this truth is about confessing Yahweh Shai. And that's it. Okay? Confess Yahweh Shai. You'll confess you're making known Yahweh Shai. Okay? Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. Okay? Him will I confess before my Father which is in heaven. So the scriptures are letting you know. Yahweh is going to confess you in the kingdom if you confess him. Okay? 